Let's get one thing straight here, folks, and squash one rumor. Impeachment by the House does not mean President Trump would be removed from office. For that, the Senate chamber must act as a courtroom and convict him. And Republicans, as Hope just pointed out, are currently in control of the Senate. So even if the Senate took it up, it would mean two-thirds of the 100 members would have to vote in favor of a conviction. Then the president would be removed. And that has never, ever happened in the nation's history. And it is the nuclear option in presidential politics. Congress removing a president from office. And a lot of you folks are talking about this online. More than 6,000 of you commented on this on our 11 Alive Facebook page. So we asked, should President Trump be impeached? A lot of passionate responses, as you would expect. Natisha Lance is back with a social reaction tonight in this political bombshell. Well, Ron, as you can imagine, this story has been trending all day long. And tonight we're asking folks at home if they think anything will come from the impeachment inquiry. I'm going to get to those results in just a bit. But tonight, you're either on the president's side or you're just not. So, of course, it's a pretty easy to see where those battle lines are drawn on Capitol Hill. Speaker Pelosi happens to be the Speaker of this House, but she does not speak for America when it comes to this issue. She cannot decide unilaterally what happens here. This is full-blown impeachment inquiry. The conduct of the president in going to a foreign leader and asking him to drum up dirt on his opponent and holding back money as part of that deal is a corrupting form of conduct. Well, we are the station where Atlanta speaks, and thousands of you, as Ron mentioned, are weighing in on our 11 Alive Facebook page. So Angela Stewart here said it's about time for the president to be held accountable. She believes his behavior and actions should be impeachable. But Nick White said what most of you on our Facebook page were saying, which is stop wasting our tax money and time, get back to work, and if President Trump wins re-election, then just let it go. So tonight we asked if you think anything will come from the impeachment inquiry and it looks like 67% of you say no and 33% of you say yes. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens through this long process, Ron.